All right, funny you should ask. My sister just showed up with a big pile of pants that like have been mended or need work and we can talk about what to do. Long story short, of course I love our dining loom. They can do a ton of really cool stuff, but there's a tool of every job and it's just not the tool for this job. When you first pop one of these holes in the thigh crotch area of your pants, it's pretty small. You're like, absolutely, I can cover that with a darn pad. But then you keep wearing them and that thinning area just keeps getting bigger. So if you had put a patch here, that's great. The patch would have fallen off by now because it's really starting to get thin in the area all around the patch. This is how it's done. My sister did this, Laura did this, and what's great is there was a hole kind of starting to pop right in here, and she did a patch that went way around outside of that hole where we know that it's going to get thin from the abrasion of wearing these pants. Patching around the hole like that gets you ahead of the game so that you have a lot more time before your pants are going to wear and need more work. I have this pair here that I'm actually remending for somebody, so they already did a really great job of patching above and below where their hole was, but they've worn them so much that there's actually a hole popping up even above that patch. So it's just a matter of how long you want to commit to it and keep remending something, but you can get way ahead of the game if you do a good patch the first time. Counter example, I did put a darned patch on this pair of pants, just uh, it's on the knee here, and this was a rip. It was not caused by like constant kneeling or other abrasion. So this is a great example of like you can you can use these on jeans, but just know what you're mending and how it got to be worn the way it is.